Hi. Um, I've had a few people asking me why I call my company the mouse and the cake. So I thought I'd do a little explanation and let you know. So the mouse and the cake um, is basically the, it's the name of my favourite poem. I worked for many years as a nanny and um, I used to tell this tale and the children all loved it and they would all join in at the, the crucial point. Basically it's a, a story of a very greedy little mouse um, and he um, comes to a sticky end, let's uh, say that, um, and the children always enjoyed it and always used to shout out them when the end came. Um, the poem is by Eliza Cook, um, and I shall recite it for you now. The Mouse and the Cake by Eliza Cook. A mouse found a beautiful piece of plum cake, the richest and sweetest that mortal could make. Twas heavy with citron and fragrant with spice, and covered with sugar all sparkling as ice. My stars, cried the mouse, while his eye beamed with glee. Here's a treasure I've found. What a feast it will be. But hark, there's a noise. Tis my brothers at play. So I'll hide with the cake, lest they wander this way. Not a bit shall they have, for I know I can eat every morsel myself. It'll be such a treat. So off went the mouse while he held the cake fast while his hungry young brothers went scampering past. So he gobbled and gobbled and panted, but still he kept gulping it down till he made himself ill. Yet he swallowed it all, and tis easy to guess, he was soon so unwell that he groaned with distress. His family heard him, and as he grew worse, they sent for the doctor, who made him rehearse how he'd eaten the cake to the very last crumb, without giving his playmates and relatives some. Ah, me, cried the doctor, advice is too late. You must die before long, so prepare for your fate. Had you shared it, the cake had been wholesome enough, but eaten by one, twas dangerous stuff. So prepare for the worst, and the words had scarce fled when the doctor turned round, the patient was dead. Now all little people the lesson may take, and some large ones may learn from the mouse and the cake, not to be over selfish with what we may gain, or the best of our pleasures may turn into pain. So there you are, there's the story of the mouse and the cake. I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah, and as much as I do, I love that poem and as I say, all the children that I've nannied for over the years have all loved it. Um, so now you have the explanation as to why I call my cake business the mouse and the cake. <laughs>